BD12, Eratu, Story and Guidance, The Magical Council, 12 out of 32. Eratu, the guiding force of gases, air, and oxygen. The guiding force of energy of gases, air, and oxygen. Learn to embrace and love it all. Quote, this is my commandment. Let you love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. End of quote. Eratu's story. My name is Eratu, and I come from the ocean of love, just like you, where we all lived under the loving hand of Kandu, the sustainer and creator of life. As a crystal child of light, I came down to explore Crystallia the creation. But on my way down, Kalimobanko, the governor of Crystallia, intercepted me, took me under his wing, and gave me a special task in order for creation to continue. He made me the keeper of gases, which includes air in which you can find oxygen, so you can breathe and live. I became part of Kalimobanko's team and settled down in the lower crystal kingdom, located in Orania. As a young child playing in the gardens of the castles of garments, located in the plains of dreams, Kalimobanko gave me the name Eratu, meaning the keeper of gases. Here are some names of different gases, argon, chlorine, fluorine, helium, hydrogen, krypton, neon, nitrogen, oxygen, radon, and xenon. There are of course endless other gases made of combina combined elements such as carbon monoxide dioxide, methane, propane, but then there are again many others in different planetary systems, and it would take days for me to, to mention them all. Very fast I became aware of my special powers, and most fun I had traveling inside my own gas bubble, venturing Crystallia and assisting with my element of gas wherever I thought I could be of use. My friends often called me an airhead, as I mostly traveled light all over the place, but as well being light myself, because I was made out of gases. Often I disguised myself by going to one of the castles of garments and taking on a bodysuit so nobody could see that I was mainly made of gases. Did you know that you have several gases inside your body? When you're interested, look up gases in the human body. Without me, life in Crystallia, and also on your planet, would not be possible. I created a system so you have oxygen in order for life to happen, and I chose the oceans as the source where most of your oxygen comes from. Tiny ocean plants called phytoplankton, and when you want to know more about it, just do some research. I also gave the trees on your planet a special task to absorb carbon dioxide and they are able to convert the carbon dioxide into food by photosynthesis and release the oxygen in the atmosphere. In the night they also consume oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Did you know that as well? There is maybe a lot about me that you don't know. And you can make a study on all these things when you're interested, because the world is a magical place and so many things you don't see or don't know yet. The things I hope you know are that your planet Earth is in danger because forests are cut and there is too much pollution for manufacturing and living your modern way of living, which is very destructive. Are you aware of global warming? and the fast and negative climate changing, mostly due to too much carbon dioxide. On one hand, just like me, you love nature, and on the other hand, you keep on destroying it. I went to many planets and created an atmosphere that contained immense amounts of oxygen. Everything bloomed and blossomed, and the air would feel so fresh, full with oxygen, 
and anything I touched as a child in nature would flourish and grow. I had a green finger, so to speak. I loved the green and the forest, the meadows and the orchard and plants. And because of my having a heart for everything and everybody, I became as well the keeper of love and beauty. Soon, while growing up, I became more and more aware of the two sides in me. I could love so intensely, but moments later, I could go into dislikes and even hate. And I lost many friends who could not handle this. I went for counseling to a wizard and figured out about who and what to trust and not. It was such a simple answer I received because it was about trusting that both sides always come in the adventure of life. I'm telling you this because I know you will forget this again, as you are chasing an illusion by just trying to secure and chase one side of life. This is the angel and the witch in everything and everybody, and as long as you keep this in mind, your trust will never be broken again, and you do not have to end up feeling broken-hearted. You can love your toys, but know that they can break. You can trust that in everything and everybody, including your parents, there lays the angel and the witch. However, when it happened to me the first time that one of my friends showed the other side, I was willing to kill. And this is the danger of the game of love and hate. All my strengths and weaknesses became part of the world and part of you. And this was great for Kalimobanko's plan in order to keep everybody busy with wanting and loving and hating, trusting and mistrusting. The adventure of life stops when you stop inhaling new and when you do not exhale the old experiences. This creates lots of problems inside your body, which is called attachments. Nature just gives and loves everybody equally, but individuals love with wanting something in return, or wanting to possess things in others, which just doesn't work. There is a balance between receiving and giving, and when I saw how nation destroyed their own world by just taking from nature, I changed myself into wind twisters, hurricanes, tornadoes and typhoons, and would clean them out not with the intent to kill individuals, but it mostly became part of that cleansing process, before they would completely destroy everything and themselves. Your heart and lungs are located inside your chest, which protects these organs. But by not using your lungs and heart well, when you stop really inhaling and exhaling life in whatever form it comes, and when you cave yourself in and feel heartbroken, your chest, with its ribs, becomes a jail for them. I discovered, as well, the power of my index finger. And when I pound, pointed with it to those who I thought had done wrong to me, I saw them caving in and crumbling. I felt very powerful and could hurt others, by the way, and it didn't make me popular and I lost many other friends, until I discovered that when I pointed that I became disempowered, as three fingers were always pointing back to me. I started to watch my posture and keeping my chest out, which felt like having courage, and learned to embrace all experiences in life, the such called good and bad ones, because they were all part of my life adventure. And an adventure is about challenges, isn't it? Later, in one of my cities, I erected in an enormous statue that stood with his chest and arms wide out, symbolically expressing to embrace and love everything. Only by doing this can your lungs, heart and circulation function properly. There is, however, another love connected to me which is called unconditionally love. And it doesn't come from your physical heart, but it comes through that heart. It is the stream 
or river of love, on which we all came down to explore Crystallia the creation. And this river is still connected to the ocean of love and Kandu. This is however very difficult to work with, for many of you don't want to love it all, including the painful experiences. You don't want to embrace it all, but you rather go into the battle, just like I went into battle when I got to live in the high realms of the gods. Then came the time that I became known as the greatest long distance runner and building my endurance, which by the way helped me enduring things, like keeping up with gardening, studying and other things that required me sticking to them. Everybody adored me for my talent and this was as well the time I started to overdo the running and depleting my air from myself. Have you ever noticed on people who smoke that mostly their chest is caved in? And so it happened with me overdoing it with running. The higher realms of the gods. My energy is in everything in Crystallia, and especially that worldly love that would keep the souls in Crystallia busy with the subject love and not thinking about their real self and going back to Kandu, the real love and real love relationship. This was just perfect for Kalima Banko. For many reasons, all other gods, keepers and all inhabitants of Crystallia needed to connect with me. However, throughout the history of the high realms of the gods, there have been many wars and battles, especially between the seven keepers of the universe of which I am one of them. Battles. I became feared in the higher realms of the gods for my poisonous gases and explosives containing poisonous gases, my shooting finger of destruction and attacking the other gods with twisters, hurricanes, tornadoes and typhoons. Firatos, the god and keeper of fire, was my biggest enemy because when he was moving and doing, he stole my energy of air and oxygen, because fire can only combust with the help of oxygen. I fought with him fiercely for eons, but mostly I had to wait until he burned himself out. On the other hand, I depleted myself from my own energy by running out of air, by wanting to do too much and going into too many directions at the same time. Do not point at me for what I have done, but point at yourself, for you and me are not much different. You are also on the battlefield with yourself and the world. You are hard on yourself and others, and do not love all equally, resulting in a lot of destructions, and you desperately trying to control it all. You affect the earth energy base of yourself, and are part of the destruction of your planet. You have your heart closed because you're not able to love everything equally. You come from being hard and jealous and you forget to breathe properly. Don't you see the effects on your heart, lungs and circulation? You point at others when you speak and wonder why they get defensive. You want everything and being loved by others without realizing you are fighting a battle within your own mind and with your thoughts. But have you not understood what love is all about? It is unconditionally. Kali Mobanko didn't bring us gods together and explaining to us that we were a support system to each other, that we couldn't live without each other and for that reason we all felt independent and getting involved in war games. Maybe it was not his fault. We could have figured it all out by ourselves. At one point in time, with the permission of Kalimabanko, I made my second home in the planetarian system of the green planets, located in the realms of the fourth dimension, a place where the energy of air was dominant and, which, and in which I could experience my energy in full. Here I have my playground with having without having to battle with the other keepers, but where other problems arose. 
I went to the plains of dreams, to one of the castles of garments, and took the body I still have today, representing its purpose. Also realize that I have several bodies or garments. I have my base image, but to make any body more comfortable anywhere in the universe, I adapt and can change into an image that looks more me being one of you. Airtopia, the realm of the green planets. Let me give you a feeling about my special realm and come to visit me. Airtopia is also called the Oxygen Empire and it is located in the fourth dimension in the universe, in the galaxy Oxyton, being a very special planet on which life takes place as you more know it more or less. Ertopia is a huge emerald planet, but not round, but a huge floating continent with 12 countries. The inhabitants are called the Ozonese, and there are various tribes, and they are all very slender and tall individuals with a healthy green complexion. The green fingers, whose skin looks as if they are made with green leaves, have that extra green finger and everything they touch grows almost instantly, and they are the caretakers of the seeds and plants. The aerobos have an incredible endurance, and they can run for days without having to take a break, and nurturing themselves from fruits they take from the trees while running or rowing their rafts through the rivers, lakes and oceans. They are our athletes, but as well the messengers on our planet. You could compare them with the postman. The dragonfly people are half like human and half dragonfly and wearing harnesses to transport others and merchandise around and most of them live in the trees. The big hearts have a big heart for everybody and everything and love everything unconditionally and they are the guardians of the special healthcare. The nurturers are the ones who really nurture everything and they make sure that everything and everybody's health in pro is proper maintained and you could compare them with the Peace Corp. The embracers are the nomads and adventurers in this realm, always open to, to discover new. And the trusts have that special quality to trust that everything in life will work out as it is supposed to work out. And they are the businessmen here. The claimers accept everything in life as their own doing, and you never hear them complain about anything. And they are like the hippies of your planet, but without any negativity. In addition to all having green features that work as a chameleon and make them blend into their environment, all the individuals of each tribe have extraordinary beautiful hands. And you will see this because they are really in touch with themselves, others and nature. Each individual of each tribe renders a service to the tribe and to the entire empire by protecting and preserving their wealth and treasure, oxygen. They call it the breath of physical life, and they thank every morning for several hours in silence, the life-giving and life-sustaining energy for this present. The Big Change Having two main residents, in the higher realms of the gods and on the green planets, I was asked at one point in time by Morai Amoro to become a faculty member at the Magical University of Life at the Sacred Archives. Morai Amoro is the founder and principal of this special university, and he respects us and was wise by inviting us all, key masters, keepers and guardians of the universe. Under his guidance, we all had an equal position and shared the knowledge of the universe and nature from our perspective with the students and we all felt very important. It was a great change. We turned back into love and stopped our wars. For we all knew that you needed all the help you can get in order to save yourself and your planet. For those amongst you who want to become 
more aware and who understand that I am part and parcel of you and within everything and everybody, I invite you going on the journey and rediscovering all about me in my realm called Ertopia, or to sit in my classroom at the University at the Sacred Archives, or even connecting with me through a home self-schooling system. All connections to me are an incredible experience, and the more you know, the better you can go through your life adventure. My positive and negative sides. Through my energy, you're able to love and like everything and everybody, but you can also fall down into disliking and even hating things, others and situations. Through your physical heart, you can learn to unconditionally love it all. You can embrace, you can embrace it all, but as well, you can reject things, situations and people. Through my energy, you have the capacity to endure anything, but on the other hand, you can easily fall down into quitting and giving up. Through my energy, you are able to inhale the new, but you can refuse this and holding off. You can exhale or hold in, trying to avoid onto your attachments, forgetting that one day you will have to detach yourself from them, voluntarily or involuntarily. Life is always giving, and you can keep on receiving, but you can also as well reject these gifts, just as you can constantly give like nature does, but or fall into withholding. Through my energy, it is about letting everything circulate well inside and outside your body, but knowing that you can get stuck in not letting things circulate. You either learn to be and stay in touch or getting out of touch. You let your heart be open, affectionate and loving, or you close it off and harden. Do not forget that everything in creation is created in duality, with opposites, even your own heart. And for that reason, you must learn to trust that everything and everybody has two sides. And by understanding this, your trust will never be broken again. Last but not least, know that through my energy you can give directions to your thoughts, but that you can also fail to give proper directions to all your thoughts, dreams and wishes. How I can help you in your life? Quote, Love is all we have, the only way that each can help the other. Euripides. End of quote. I am Eratu, the keeper of the fourth dimension, and within it the gases and air, and in that its oxygen, that you really need in order to live. I don't want to say that I am the most important and more important than food and water, but realize that you could do many weeks without food. Days without water, but only a minute or so without oxygen. I make sure that there is enough air to breathe, which is organized through the oceans and my friends the trees. I give the people on your planet plenty of signs to stop cutting the forests and to stop the pollution of the air, waters and the oceans. For when it continues this way, you have one day a planet where you cannot breathe anymore. You can help in these matters by not wasting so much paper, which is made from the wood of the trees. You can buy recycled paper, get used to ride on your bike and walk more. And when you're older, that you will use your car less, which leaves poisonous gases in the air. In regards to your body, walking, biking, swimming are excellent to train your endurance of your lungs. Be aware, however, when you want to accomplish too much in one stretch that you deplete the air of your own body. Breathing and proper breathing is very important, especially when you feel pointed at or talked to in a harsh manner. Do not keep it inside, but breathe it out. Learn to exhale instead of taking it in and holding 
in the struggle and devastation of life. Knowing how it affects you to feel the finger pointed at you or to be spoken to with harsh words, do not do this to anybody. Love it all and embrace it all. Be loving with your heart and do not become hard. Your heart is the symbol of physical love, the law for everybody and everything in your world. When you do not love it all equally or dislike and even hate things and people, you cause pain to your own heart and to theirs as well. Life is an adventure and you must learn to love it all, for everything is a gift and treasure to experience and to learn from. When you say one a minute, I love you, and the next, I hate, your heart gets confused and crumbles up in pain. So love your parents no matter what. Love school and all its sub subjects no matter what. Love your friends no matter what. And love the world no matter what. When you embrace it all and you let the love of your heart shine on it, everything becomes easier. Yes, even loving you when you're sick. Your body needs time for healing and then it needs especially your love. How you lose most of your air energy. Realize that when you are at school feeling forced by your parents that you will be sitting in a hanging position and not having access to your full lung capacity. Realize that there are as well lots of poisonous toxins around you from artificial paints, carpets and endless other objects. And going outside, you will have to face the, the pollutions of the air. Arriving at the teenage years, you maybe feel discouraged by looking at the world in front of you. You are competing and comparing yourself with others. Or maybe start to smoke or even getting involved in scored sports competitions. All contributing to losing your air and oxygen. In addition, you eat foods and drinks unhealthy, not consuming enough fresh, and all stealing from your own energy, from your own lungs, that supply oxygen to every cell of your body. Self-esteem. Self-esteem means feeling good about yourself as a soul on an incredible adventure in creation. But when your self-esteem is connected to comparing and competing, you will struggle with it. When you compete, and you even do this with getting your grades and competing in sports, other activities, and even in appearance, you will have to struggle. You will struggle when you think that you do not have certain things that others have. Those who think that they are better will struggle to keep that image or struggle with protecting and holding on to their possessions. No need to do this all or going into it. You are all unique and in the eyes of Kandu, the Creator, equally loved. And our self-esteem should be just based on that. About your lungs. Learn to stop or quit, so to speak, to not overdoing things, so you do not run yourself out of air. But in most cases, you have to stay with your endurance to get through difficult matters like cleaning, studying and sticking to things. This is showing your courage, an energy that lays in your chest. So learn to keep your chest out. Keep your lungs healthy by making them work faster for long periods of time. But also be careful to not overdo it and depleting them from their energy. For short and explosive exercises, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. When you lift or push things, always remember to inhale before the action and exhale during the action, which requires most strength. For endurance work, as well as your aerobic work and long distance, running, swimming and biking, inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. In and exhale all experiences, the good and lesser good, and be careful to not hold your breath regarding fear 
or desperately trying to hold on to things. Your lungs stop breathing properly. This is as well by having a good posture when standing and sitting, by keeping your chest slightly out and to not hunch or looking like you have been shot with a ball right inside your chest. Have a feeling that your chest is wide open and that your arms are spread out and learn to embrace everything and everybody unconditionally. Be aware of breathing additional toxins from the pains and artificial objects around you and the AC that gives you already enough bad stuff. Be in nature and breathe in the fresh air. Walk and do things more on your bike instead of sitting in a car. Go online and do some research about oxygen and ozone. About oxygen and ozone therapies. Because oxygen is the first fuel source for your physical body. Because your body could survive weeks without food, days without water, but only minutes without oxygen. I think it is worth to know more about oxygen, because your life depends on it. About giving and receiving. Always remember that you came without anything to this world, and that one day you will depart again, and there is nothing you can take with you other than the love for your soul and Kandu the Creator. So do not get attached to anything or fight over things. Just say thank you to whatever you receive and share and give freely to others. Feel. Stay in touch and be open for touch. Be open to receive affection and be affectionate to others. What you give out will come back to you. And that is easy to remember. Sometimes just close your eyes and touch things around you and you will be amazed about the discovery of touch. About trust. The confusion with trusting is to trust that everything is created in opposites and to accept both sides in everything and everybody. In regards to people, including yourself and all those dear to you, Know that everybody and everything has two faces, called the angel and the witch, the good side and the lesser good side. Life and creation is to experience these opposites, in which one cannot exist without the other. You couldn't recognize one without the opposite. Also remember that the such called lesser nice side is just not your convenient, but mostly you learn more from that side or from those times. Would you go to a movie in which everything just runs smooth without any challenges? Probably not. So your life is also like a movie with these two sides. About directions and pointing. With your index finger you point out directions and what you would like and not and what you rather do not want. But do not use your finger to blame others. When you point, always remember that three fingers are pointing back to you. As long as you do not claim that you, yourself or Kandu wrote everything in your book of life, and you keep on pointing and blaming others, that you will become a victim in your own book. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others your essence. You all came from the ocean of love and are crystal children of light. And you are souls made from love. And everything in creation is made from this source of love. For without this nothing could exist. Never forget that Kandu the Creator is in everything and everybody. So when challenging things and people come before, before you, try to overlook and remind yourself of that essence that essence in you, others, and everything. Loving everything and everybody unconditionally is called unconditionally love. Kandu, who is only love, and nature who loves and gives everyone equally, in a good, is a good reminder that you as children of Kandu can love in the same manner. The Breath of Life the essence of love 
you can look upon as the breath of life from Kandu. For he gave life to all and everything through its breath. This goes beyond oxygen. This breath gave life and keeps everything alive. And you could look at everything created with a wow, a gesture of amazement. This will keep your physical breath going by loving all for what it is, and you will not suffocate by holding your breath. This is being in the real zone of life. Verse Eratu is the keeper of Thursday. Green is the color of this special day. A day to work with your endurance, by the way. Embrace everybody and all you see. Love yourself and others unconditionally. Be careful with attachments of any kind. Breathe with ease and never forget to be kind.